For us, the basic ones which we have been advised by the Ministry of Health is the social distancing, which is 1.5 meters between persons in all areas, in the dining hall, in the hostels, in the classrooms, in the staff room for the staff. So that is a basic minimum. We cannot, that is an irreducible minimum. Two is that they must have all the points that we require for sanitizers and sanitizing. Three is that they must have enough running water and soap. Because we are, we are told that is the biggest way of managing this corona. So that, but this college, that they have adequate water, so they seem not to have a problem with water. They only need to do washing points and make sure that they soap. Three is that they must have face masks. We are encouraging colleges and students, both for their staff, for the students, to use reusable uh, masks, because those will be easier to manage in an, in, in an environment of, uh, of students. We already had protocol, uh, prototypes for the students, and we have already had discussions with Rivertex and uh, Kikotech in, uh, in Kitui and other uh, national youth service who can be able to produce certified reusable uh, face masks. Because that one again is not anything that we can do without. The face masks are a must. And that is why I was talking about the county uh, response teams, because they will work with the county government and the, and the health professionals who will come here to talk to the students on how to use them, how to use the masks. Each of these colleges will be, uh, will be matched up with an hospital. This one now, we have the county hospital just here, so that the county hospital becomes a close monitor of this college every time on medical issues. So every one of them will be matched up with, a, uh, with, with an hospital, with a medical facility, let me not say an hospital, with a medical facility which will all the time be checking. The tutors and the principal will be here two weeks before the colleges open so that they will start preparing themselves, going through basic training on how to handle these COVID issues, getting some socio-psycho support. So this psychosocial support will be very critical so that they can be able to handle the students when they come. So there will be a lot of work to be done from the beginning of August to 1st of September when we open these colleges. There will be a lot of preparation. The principals already and the senior teachers from next week and the week after, they will start meeting so that they will work out on the issues of time tabling and all the other things in preparation of uh, engaging with these students. So, unless there's any other question that is uh, essential. For students, because students will be quite a number. So, we should, like this college, they have told me they have uh, 361. So, the most critical thing here will be screening. Making sure that every morning they take their temperature. And that is why one of the other things which is a requirement is the... Uh, temperature guns so that every morning students are screened as they go to sleep in the evening we screen them as they come to class in the morning so that we can monitor because uh, fever is a critical indicator and that will be able to assist us in monitoring and just knowing it may not be uh, practically possible to test every other student but the other stuff we can test. Mainly these ones of colleges, because there are not so many. If it were the schools, it gets more complicated. But for the colleges, like those who are handling food will be tested every two weeks to make sure that, uh, because the, 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 the issue is the entry of uh, this corona and spreading to students 
will be those who are handling food. And that is where we shall be more careful. Every two weeks we shall be doing testing so that we ensure the safety of the students.